Hello and welcome to Gunners TV. <sighs> what a weekend of football so far. Just about to kick off the Newcastle and Spurs game. Hopefully that'll be a, a nice new victory for the Newcastle fans and owners. It's going to be a cauldron up there, but... Wouldn't surprise me if Harry Kane gets a hat trick today and shut and sil shuts the place up and shows the owners just what a job they've got on their hands there. But what on earth has that going on at Manchester United? And this is a general talk about the league. Now, for me, yesterday, wow, Edward Mende. Anyone who says that guy is not a world-class goalkeeper doesn't know anything about football, certainly doesn't know anything about goalkeepers. That guy is unbelievable. Yeah, he is one of Chelsea's best players. And without Mendy, they would have they would have probably lost that game yesterday. Yeah, and people were taking the piss out of Arsenal. We go there losing at the start of the season when we we had half our team out, half our team missing. Yeah, even with our pretty strong defence we've got at the moment, we would still struggle there. You know, three or with Liverpool, only a one 0 loss to Chelsea, two 0 they beat Arsenal, they won at West Ham there. There it's a it's the, it's a tough place to go, and you, if your you, your your team hasn't been there, you're gonna find that out. But for me, three teams that are definitely gonna be in the Champions League next season: Liverpool. What can you say about so Max, uh, Mo Salah? I agree with Klopp. He is currently on form, the best player in, in world football. Tell me a better player. Gillian Mbappe, Messi, yeah, they're they're world class and that, but Mbappe's doing it in a, in the French league when Salah's doing it in the Super League, the, the Super Leagues of leagues. There, the Super League is is already here. It's the Premier League, mate. It's the only league in the world. Where the bottom team can beat the top team on the on the on the day, yeah. It's not like it's not like other European leagues. It's different. Every game is difficult. Now, being an Arsenal fan, we're playing strange. It's a strange week of fixtures for us. Could turn out disastrous, or it could be really good. We've got the return of a legend tomorrow night. In Patrick Vieira. Oh, Vieira. Oh, oh, he comes from Senegal. He plays for Arsenal. I seen him make his debut. I was in the North Bank that night. Ray Parler went off with a hamstring. And this massive Frenchman come on. And straight away, I looked at John, my stepdad, and went, oh, my God. Who is this guy? Special, special talent. Um, will he replicate that in, in management? I hope so. I hope I hope he does. But not tomorrow night. Um, I think he'll what, prove a point. I think it's going to be a tough, tight game. But I think Arsenal will just about have enough to get through it. And then on Friday night, we play. So it could be a miserable weekend. Not what really want to watch anyone else because we've lost on Friday or thrown the points away. Or we could be a Villa team who's just been demoralised. 2-0 up. And um, Ruben Neves free kick. Get in there. Results have really gone Arsenal's way this weekend so far. West Ham have just won. They're on the same points as Manchester United, West Ham. Sir Everton. Manchester United are joint seventh at the moment. Suddenly the, there's a, the, there is an opening for the top four, for, for fourth. 
Top three are sewn up. Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea. Or Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. Whatever way you want to look at. For me, Manchester United, I'm not 100% confident they will get in the top four. I know it's early, but their team had no cohesion yesterday. They haven't got an identity. They're a team of individuals. They need to be... They need... Even Arsenal... There's some Arsenal have struggled with identity. But even Arsenal look more cohesive than Manchester United. And funny enough, if Arsenal beat Palace and beat Villa at home, which we should do because we're at home, don't always go that way. But if we do pick up six points from our next two games... We will be two points ahead of Manchester United. Who would have said that a month ago? Yeah. We will be, because of our goal difference, and that is the only worry I have, is our lack of goals. Palace are scoring goals. Zaha versus Tommy Alsu. You know, a lot of people said we should have bought Zaha instead of Pepe. I'm starting to, you know, I, I would have loved Wilfred. Oh, I'll still take him now. But that's for tomorrow night. This is more a Premier League review of the weekend. I'll do a review of the Newcastle Tottenham game uh, tomorrow uh, before I do my Arsenal uh, Palace review tomorrow before the match. Um,. Uh, but I watched the Leicester Manchester United game live and I was just stunned. And, and then the Wolves winner right at the end as well. It was, you know, because I can get the American channels up on, on um, what I'm watching, CNBC or something like that. Robbie Earl's on it and, and Robbie uh, Musto. <laughs> It's quite, it's good it is, it's quality. You know, you're watching all these adverts and uh, you think, oh, that looks really nice, bit of like, grub and that, and that. And you think, oh, bloody hell, it's in America, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, I'm joining, I'm, I'm getting back, back fit. I'm rejoining my local uh, leisure centre gym, swimming pool. So if I'm fit, I'm going to have a new haircut tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a new me and I'm going to step it up with my concert well done to Curtis Shaw TV I voted for Curtis and he won well done Curtis he deserves it Curtis Shaw is a brilliant content creator I watched uh, the only video available is actually a Tottenham fans so it's quite funny now troops saw it so it's, this is a bit of Arsenal in there. Um, what do I think of the Newcastle takeover? Um, what, what can you put Arsenal? <laughs> you know, fair play to them. They've suffered, man. They've suffered. Mark Ashley is doing exactly what the Cronkies. Cronkies are a lot richer than Mike Ashley, but um, the, the Cronkies, apart from, I think this, since they've taken over at Arsenal, right? Since they've taken over at Arsenal, they've paid the stadium debt off. And apart from that, they've only put £15 million of their own money into the club in, what, 15 years? That's like a million pound a year of their own money. Maybe a lot of that was Wenger as well, self sustaining model and all that. It don't work anymore. It don't work anymore. You got to put your self sustaining model in, and you got to put another one hundred and fifty on top. You got to spend two, two hundred, two hundred mil every window to catch it up now. I'm not saying January window, I mean summer. 200 mil minimum. Some windows 300 million. Yeah, if you want to keep up in this Premier League. 
Um, having a decent director of football and manager would help. You know, Manchester United and Arsenal got a lot in common. Yeah, 20 years ago. It... Oh, look at these scenes at St. James's Park, man. They're amazing. Because this is the mighty town. Everything they've tried. So, oh, I didn't read it all. All the new owners and that. They own 80% of the club. Saudi Arabians and 10% to someone else and 10% to someone else. But 80%. I wouldn't want to be Tottenham today. <laughs> I'm telling you. Here comes Harry. Can Kane finally find his form and spoil the party? Or can Sir Maximan, baby, do a bit of magic? Come on the tune. Anyway. Uh, Ollie gone and Solskjaer, man. <sighs> I think the only way he's going to get sacked if he doesn't get in the top four. I think they keep him otherwise. I don't know. If they, imagine if they kept him and uh, and they didn't even get in the top four. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm laughing because that's what happened at Arsenal. It's, so, it's almost like a carbon copy, but man, you spend more money. Insane. Arsenal aren't in debt. Manchester United are in horrendous debt. That's the only reason. That's the difference between the clubs. Because the glazes of the money they're spending is not through. It's not their own money, is it? You know, it's bloody borrowed. Uh, it's just Manchester United are an absolute. Disaster, train wreck, no, the most uncohesive performance of world superstars I've I've seen in a long time. What a goal from Mason Greenwood though! What a time he looks. Rashford back. I just can't get over that game yesterday. It's one of the best games of the season I've seen so far, and funniest because it happened to Man U. <laughs> and I just I'm down desperate after Arsenal in the next two games get right in that mix we'd have 16 points we'd go above all these teams I don't know where we'd be in the league we'd be in the top six Arsenal top six and Man U would be mid-table Probably say a goal difference would be top of the pile or everyone who's got 14 points. But, if I, you know, so, you know. But it's a tough two games. But they're at home at least. we got to get a Leicester soon. That's not going to be easy now that they've found their feet, found the form. So I'm going to sit down and relax and watch this Newcastle game and hope. Uh, cheer on the Geordies. Probably won't be cheering them on for much longer, but I'll cheer anyone against Tottenham. Anyway, who needs a European Super League when there is one? It's called the English Premier League. See you later.